Molly Nolwick here, and it's another Throwback Thursday episode of My Creations in Planet Coaster. And today we are looking at uh, the... I'm going to stutter here, so bear with me. Ugh, okay. Anyhow, we are doing Dragon's Lair uh, Shuffle, Blueprint Shuffle. And uh, this was the first collab that I had done. Uh, in Planet Coaster, and uh, what the Blueprint Shuffle in Dragon Slayer did was um, it had four weeks, and uh, ideally everyone signed up, uh, each person did a, a, a plaza, a themed plaza, uh, you had one week to work on it, you had 1,000 pieces to make a blueprint for that plaza to get things started, and then the next week, you passed your plaza, somebody else randomly got your shop, and you got somebody else's. And then you had the second week to add up to a thousand pieces to that somebody else's plaza. And they were doing the same thing to yours. And then week three comes around, or round three, same thing. Uh, you have a, a, a completely different plaza and you're adding another thousand pieces, uh, give or take. And then week four, by, by week four, it should be done. And uh, so we did that and it really was a growing experience for me. Uh, let me tell you, uh, I was very green behind the ears and having the opportunity of working with some freaking amazing creators that I've saw like in videos and uh, channel five and in the community and and they were gonna be fondling my blueprints and I was gonna be fondling their blueprints it was really overwhelming for me. I grew so much. I learned so much from you know, seeing the pieces people used and uh, how they did things. And uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail and explaining um, as I go by each round. But right now, so what you're looking at is round one. I started, this was what I started on for week one. Um, and I chose to do a uh, Nordic dragon theme. And the reason why I chose this was I was going to redo Jormungandr. And I thought, well, hey, this would go great in that that park and I wanted to make everything in there. So this had 974 pieces and I'll just take you, you know, give you a little look here. You've got El Pollo Loki <laughs> and uh, if you uh, were looking at by now you should have seen my Bonjour shop that I did for Channel 5's uh, World's Fair shop and all the puns. I do like to have puns and make people laugh and smile. And so I do try to carry that theme in my creations as best as I can. And uh, so anyhow, but as you look through here, so yeah, I'll, I guess I'll show you that first. I'll put you Loki. And then you've got Freya's fries. And um, I came up with this theme because I was also working on um, another shop that you'll see uh, after the blueprint shuffles are done. And then you, here you have Lady Sif's sodas. So this was what I started doing and these are little dragons. And I used uh, these little pieces for teeth. But as you can tell, if you see that, these, let's see what, what else. You see all these little pieces here. See, I had no idea. <laughs> Look at this. None of these are grouped together. <laughs> I had no idea. I've, I've watched Rudy's Rudy's uh, tutorials or his videos on some other YouTube people. And, and it did show you how to copy and paste and all that kind of jazz. But the videos would go so fast. And I'd pause it. And I'd follow along. And, and But I still, I just, I, I. It took me quite a while for me to get the concept of grouping things together. So, but despite all that, this is what I did for round two. And, uh, all right, so I will stop here. All right, here you'll see this is round two. So, Red, Red Dragon had my uh, 
Plaza next, and he added 971 pieces to the existing blueprint. And this is what he did. Look at how amazing this is. He had a just it just it's so amazing just to see what each creator you know the direction they go in so he added this all this detail and look at this see so this is what i'm talking about grouping everything together this is all one piece and i hadn't gotten that concept yet ah, okay i might have to so i don't have to okay oh come on okay all right there we go haha <laughs> So we're going to look outside of it first. Yeah, look at all the detail. Red is just an incredible creator. Very, very sweet and generous. Uh, very complimentary and supportive of everyone. And so look, then you go inside, and uh, it's really cool. So doing this, I had no idea, uh, like with the plaza, you should have no more than five shops. And so as you see, future Throwback Thursdays, some of the, um, when I got to the rounds, I added more shops, but the community was really gracious with me. Um, I didn't know. <laughs> I had a lot to learn, but no, it was fun. It was fun to uh, to do this. Oh, okay. I forgot to. So, um, also, I, I, t I try and have like a hidden smiling gal, a smiling face somewhere in my creations. There you go. But so this is what Red, Red did. Red round two. That's a really cool thing. And it was really cool because um, when he posted this to the workshop, it immediately went to front page and it was just really cool to see something of mine go on the on the front page I was like really excited so this was round two all right and now uh, round three it's week three and Anik Mandra had this next and she added 812 pieces to what Red and I did so again here's what I started off with. And here's what Red did at the blueprint. And it's all one blueprint. Oop. My head's sticking out. Okay. And then we get to Annie's. Look at this. It's just, these creators are amazing at what they did. And I was just gobsmacked. I mean, between what her and Red did, I was like, oh my gosh, just all the detail. And just like, she didn't even use a hundred, like all a thousand pieces. And it looks like so much. So it just really taught me what you can do in this game. And, but look at all this. Well, it's grouped together, but these are all, um, just all the pieces that went into it. It was really impressive. Um, and I felt like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm not going to lie, I felt a little uh, overwhelmed. i got to click on something here. Ah, okay, well, here we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. You think I'm still in here? here. Okay. Um, yeah. Just, it was really cool to see that. And she kind of carried on the theme of what I had, the shape of what I did, but added on, made her own shaped house. Like, house but it's really cool how everything is just fitting together everything's very cohesive and uh, it it's a really fun blueprint yeah look at that she so she added another little shop cheese beef and restrooms so yeah it was Really cool and I like you know it like it, little details like she changed the color of the bathroom um, it took me a while to realize you could do that like oh they don't have to stay blue <laughs> anyhow all right so there's round three all right and we are back with round four this was the last week and Hen Myra I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly she had 
the blueprint last and she added 981 pieces and so this is what she did for the plaza to kind of tie it all together she made this really cool sign Jormungandr so seeing as it was Nordic dragon theme this fits really cool sign and I almost I don't I, I think this is she oh yeah look, I think she made yeah she made the, the sign the, the lettering and uh, she look, it's better if I go like from the top she did the world serpent all the way around the blueprint of the shops just kind of tied it all together ah oh, and you know what ah oh, check this out <laughs> she she did ah oh, this is really cool I didn't see this I feel so bad <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I suck. Uh, this is freaking amazing. Look at the... She did such an amazing job with the face and the teeth. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is wonderful. She did a really good job. And just tied it all together. So, yeah. And, uh... It was just, it was really fun to do this and see the progression of what started off from, let me go all the way, oh, I get you guys sick, from this all the way down to this. Pretty cool, eh? Well, I hope you liked this episode, and if you did, then stay tuned for next month, uh, where you'll have another throwback Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and uh, if you liked this video please consider giving it a thumbs up, throwing me a comment, and uh, subscribing if you haven't done so. Have a good day. Peace and love y'all. Bye.